What happens if the population exceeds 10 billion? In the future, the world's population will exceed 50 billion. The Earth's resources have been overexploited to the point where they're scarce. The federal government has built a cannibalistic tunnel that carries out a daily massacre at random intervals. They call it the Human Removal Program. It's designed to clean up the excess population every few meters above the tunnel. There's a gas device, and on both sides of the two-kilometer-long tunnel, there are gates that can be raised and lowered. Anyone left in the tunnels at the end of the time limit is defined by the system as a target for elimination. There are tens of thousands of beetles waiting at the entrance to the tunnel. This family just came back from vacation. Mom and Dad are very worried because they know the special features of the tunnel. But the two kids in the back seat have no sense of danger and even hit her father on the head in a naughty way. So the father turns around and plays with them and asked when we'd be home. Mom laughed and gave in a cookie to calm her down. But when they turn their heads again, they looked serious again. As the tunnel door opens, the car moves slowly. The speed in the tunnel is 5, 35 kilometers per hour. According to the navigation system, the tunnel was last closed 20 hours ago. So there's a 9% chance the tunnel will close in the next 60 minutes. Dad's expression grows grim when he hears this figure and muttered that she wasn't afraid of the tunnel. Mom quickly put her to sleep counting sheep. Is this like what your parents do when they tell you to shut up? Peter thinks she's making a lot of noise and looks out of the window, where he soon sees a pretty little girl. Oh, bye. How shy he is. He takes one look at the girl and looks down. When he looked up again, this little girl, Lily, was looking at him too, at this point, and stops playing. The car is silent. They didn't know what to do. At that moment, the traffic stopped. It turns out that the tunnel door in front of them is closing. Peter said he wanted to get out of the car to get some air. Dad followed him out and looked around. There was a billboard that said, Shut down the tunnel of death. It's an indictment of the tunnel. A man saw the billboard too, and just gave him a look of helplessness. Dad gets in the car and reassures his wife that this is only the fifth time this week that the tunnel has been closed. That tunnels don't close too often. We still have a chance to escape. This is a tunnel that eats people. There are three flamethrowers every 10 meters in the tunnel. The gates at both ends of the tunnel will come down at any moment. Those who are trapped inside will be completely incinerated by the flames. When the gates open again, the tunnels are spotless as if nothing had happened. In order to control the ever-increasing population, the government can only use this method to reduce the number of people in a fair and regular manner. But even so, people flocked to the tunnels in droves because it was the only way to travel outside the city. Now the door to the tunnel is closed. Dad looks serious, but reassures Anne and tells her to draw to distract herself. Peter gets out of the car to get some air, and when he sees Lily in the car next to him, he greets her joyfully, but no sooner had they spoken a word. The tunnel door opened, so he got in the car and followed the traffic. Mom pulls out pills, probably sedatives, and gives them to each member of the family. Dad looks ahead and gulps nervously. At this point, the tunnel is fully activated. Two huge exhaust fans appear. People look around in fear because now it's an exhaust fan. But once the tunnel doors are closed, it could be a gas fan. In order to divert attention, Dad turned around and asked Anne how her painting was going. Suddenly, and screamed in fear. Luckily, it's just a temporary malfunction and not a permanent closure of the tunnel and became lively again. Even mom mentioned the trip and smiled happily. Dad agrees with her that it's nice to get away for a while. Peter looks at Lily in the car next to him. They breathe on the window and write their names. Unlike his excitement, his parents are anxious after their chat. It's a tunnel that eats people. Dense convoys of cars are pouring into the tunnel like snails. Then the doors at both ends of the tunnel will close at any time. Once the doors close, it means the tunnel will start eating people. In a few minutes, the doors open, the tens of thousands of cars that were just locked inside have been eaten up. Everyone knows the tunnel will lead people, but they still want to go in. Are they crazy? They had no choice, because this is the future. This is the only way for anyone to get to the skyscrapers of the future. At that time, the earth was short of resources and overpopulated. The government invented the cannibal tunnels in order to reduce the population and achieve balance. The tunnels were close at regular intervals, and there was no closing pattern, no countdown. Everyone entered the tunnels with fear and trepidation because no one knows if the tunnel will close in the next second. That's how fair it is in the future. They kept looking out. The roar made them gulp. Suddenly the car stops. 
they looked around and realized that only the two lanes in the center were at a standstill. It turned out that a car was changing lanes in front of them. Deb was annoyed at the sight of it. He said they should have changed lanes before they went into the tunnel. Anne was muttering again, asking when she'd be home. The car started moving slowly again. Deb wipes the sweat off his face, and Mom breathed a sigh of relief. They both looked at each other and smiled. Then they stared nervously ahead. They were getting closer and closer to the tunnel, and saw Peter's little gesture on the car window, and muttered loudly that her brother was in love. Peter was furious at her reaction. The two kids were fighting in the back seat. Mom couldn't take it anymore and turned around to yell at them. Just then the traffic in the tunnel stops. Horns honking, are they going to die? And then that door, which means death, is slowly fell. Mom and Dad looked up with the spear in their eyes. The children also leaned down. Rather than look at what was happening in front of them, it turned out that the door of death had fallen behind them. They were lucky to escape, and then they moved onto the building in front of them with a sense of relief. Peter turned his head to look for the little girl and saw a boy. It turns out that the car she was in was left in the tunnel for good because the other car had changed lanes. And that's the end of the story. Although this short film called Tunnel is only 14 minutes long, but the director's close-ups of the characters' gestures and words show the fear of the people. The children's childishness is the only bright color in the film. Would you choose to leave your home when the world outside is so dangerous? Will you be brave enough to wonder? Or will you stay at home for the rest of your life? You can subscribe and leave comments if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching. See you next time. No one knows what happens inside the tunnel when it closes. All we know is that when the gates open again, the cars and people inside the tunnel will disappear.